Welcome to another Stan's Awakening video. Today is Friday and I'm going to talk about Shadow the World. To get Shadow the World, you need two requirements, which is a stand and an item. Now, the stand that you'll need is Vampiric the World, which I have right over here. For a double check, I'm going to show it to you as you can see vampire the world i've already made a video on how to get it to so go ahead and watch that if you want to but a simple way just get yourself the world and then use the world uh use vampire mask on the world and you should be able to get vampiric the world and once you get vampiric the world the next thing that you'll need the next requirement is of course the item and that item is gonna be the camera now the camera is is a awakened item apparently and i think this is the only item that has awakened i haven't gotten dio's skull yet so i don't know if dio's skull is also awakened but all i know is camera was the first item that i got that was awakened so this is like a simply looking camera and it has like some dark secret and it should expose the appearance of a legendary vampire whose power could rule the world so let's go ahead and withdraw it so that you can see it for yourself and for those who are curious how do you get this camera now to get this camera oh it has also those jojo okay that's pretty neat um that is pretty neat as you can see this is what it's gonna look like that is neat um, I got this from my friend, by the way. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay, um, sorry about that. Uh, to get this, you it spawns all over the map. But the thing is, it has a chan chance and a spawn time. So this camera here should spawn every 45 minutes. One out of 80 chance. So just hope yourself that you get lucky and get yourself this camera and pretty much you just use this to get Vampire the World, uh, no, just to get the Shadow of the World. So let's go ahead and use the camera, it's gonna do that and oh my god, light camera action! Boom! And well, as you can see here, right now I have Vampire, not Vampire, but Shadow the World. Check three shadow the world so now that you know how to get shadow the world i might as well talk about its stats and of course its move list now it has a destructive power of b tier speed of a tier and a durability of e tier in my opinion that doesn't sound like a stand that i want to get because the stats aren't really that impressing okay so let's talk about it's the next thing which is gonna be the uh passive move it's passive move is called the vampiric blood and pretty much this is what normal vampire does you you regenerate your health pretty good which is every second most stand doesn't do that except for those who have vampires and pretty much you just recover yourself you auto heal which is pretty good now the passive move might be broken so be cautious it might not work or it might work but it depends though it depends now going to the first move it, not really a first move but if you click left mouse button you can see here it deals 10 damage also deals a little knockback a little and it's a little bit broken a little because if you look here if i go too near my opponent i wouldn't really deal any damage towards the opponent itself now the first move is called the knife throw. Now this knife throw, all you need to do is click Q and you should throw knives. Now, as you saw there, I think it's around five knives you threw, but you can see, oh no, it's only three knives. So you threw three knives and it's pretty good cooldown and also deals eight damage. Going to the next one, it is gonna be the, oh, sorry about that. It's gonna be the shadow uppercut. Now to do the shadow uppercut, all you need to do is click E. And as you can see there, you do that. You stop time for a few seconds and then you punch them. That's it. And it deals 30 damage, deals stun, and also knockback. Next one is going to be the shadow combo. To do the shadow combo, all you need to do is click R. As you can see, 
there you should deal three punch and those are gonna be uh three fast punch and as you can see it does deal a little knockback but not a lot next one's gonna be the stingy laser eye for this one you can go a little bit farther away click t and pretty much you just use a laser beaming eye it deals 45 damage and range so you can go a little bit farther away so this down here is two range q and t next one's gonna be the flesh bl buds and this one here uh you need to click y and as you can see here you take out some flesh or something and you point it at your opponent tips for you you need to go a little bit near to deal damage or not um okay i can't really okay that was the wrong one can't really see how much damage it deals it can be broken or you need to test this out on a player Next one's gonna be the world's hidden ability. And pretty much what you need to do is click F. It should stop time within those two seconds. Literally two seconds stop time. And you can do whatever you want. You can take advantage, add some combos in that stop time if you want to. But it only lasts for two seconds. Make sure you add the combos that you really want to add within those two seconds. Next one's gonna be, did you really try to shoot me? Now, for this one, all you need to do is click H and you're going to start reading a Dio's book diary and also holding some wine. Now, what this does is that if somebody tries to attack you, they will... You will damage them very hard. So instead of you getting any damage, the opponent who attacked you will deal damage because I am on this position here. Now, if it's gold experience or over heavens or other stands that can bypass this okay so other stands can bypass this to be more exact and i cannot move i had, i need to click h once again but it seems like okay 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 Okay, that wasn't wine, that was cherry juice. Okay, so if anybody threw, like, knives towards you while you're in the posing mode, they can still damage you. So for those uh, who are doing PvP with somebody, be careful on what type of stand they own or have equipped. Because if they equipped a Gold Experience Rickim or Over Heaven stands, they will be able to still damage you no matter what because they can bypass counters. Going to the next one, it is going to be the teleport. All you need to do is click V and pretty much you should teleport. But it doesn't seem like... Um... It's okay. There you go. So there is range in this. So you know what? I want to try the range. I'm clicking this. Okay, that's how much range it is. If you go here, right on the line there, and I'm gonna test it out. Okay, from here to here, that is the range of this teleport. Next one is gonna be blood suck. And as it already says in the name, you click B, you grab your opponent, suck their blood, and you heal up while their health goes down. So, pretty much that is the last move for this stand. I have nothing more else to say. You can do posing if you want to. You can also have whatever sentences you want on the top. Unfortunately, you cannot do a leap. You can block, which looks like this. You can roll over... And the most important thing is you can teleport using V, which is a lot more amazing than doing leap. But it would have been better if they added a leap so that you can be able to run away farther from an opponent that you personally do not like. So once again, that should be it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any question is available and there's no such thing as a dumb question. But yes, thanks for watching and bye.